when Tate and I were having a conversation together, and in the interview, one of the things I said is, it's very hard to earn saint status in any space. Very hard. Yeah. But when you earn saint status, it's mathematically, let me rephrase it. The chances of you getting canceled, it's 0.0001%. It's very small. Okay. What do we mean by this? Joe Rogan is saint status. Yep. They yeah. try to cancel him. They couldn't do it. Why not, though? Who has Joe's back? Spotify. Think about who has Joe's back. Yeah. Actually, let's say it. Who has Joe's back? Spotify. Who else had Joe's back? A lot of a lot of give people. Give me the names. Who minds? had Joe's back? You were probably one of them. Okay, Dana but White. give me big Jordan, names. Jordan Dana Peterson. White. Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Yep. Uh, UFC. Russell UFC, Brand. Yeah. Russell Brand. Brand yeah. Who else? Pff, so many yeah. people yeah. had his back. Yeah. Yeah. Political figures. That yeah. the opposition was like, oh shit, we can't cancel this guy. True. Because he's earned saint status. Yeah. When you haven't earned saint status yet, you have to understand that part. Yeah. If you act like you've earned saint status, so for example, Tate, who has Tate's back? That's a powerful figure. Yeah. I mean his whole cult. No, but that's not that's not <laughs> but that's you're not saying you're like saying like a, a real power. Who um, has his back? No one, really. No one. Yeah, no mm. one. Who has his back? No one. Hundreds of millions of people, if not billions, have his back. But what's their level of influence to have their back? That's, that's true. Joe had UFC. Now watch what Logan is doing, WWE. Yep. So there's a part of it where Triple H and those guys could have his back, right? Each, if you look at every one of these guys that make it to the highest level, you have to position yourself in a way to have saint status. You, you first start off with protection. You got protection right now from who? These guys. Yeah. How big are they right now? Massive. Massive. They're everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah. That is a form of protection, okay? And eventually, you got to become a flag carrier for them where you're getting loud and here's who we are, here's what they're doing. You're showing a lot of gratitude to them for what they're doing for you, the opportunity they've given you. And then eventually the market falls in love, some heavyweight people fall in love with you, then you're not cancelable be because yeah. you have same status. So, you know, strategy of a guy like Tate, you know, as, as much as the world is enamored by him, He's got to kind of look politically. Yeah. If Trump was president, you think they would have bailed out uh, Tate quicker? Probably. Oh, you think hardly. Biden's going to bail out the uh, <laughs> Biden? Sure. Biden More couldn't sure. bail out the uh, Griner in Russia, let yeah. alone bailing out a Tate. He doesn't care about Tate's message. Tate's yeah. message is not his message. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the things that you have to be. Some of it happens accident. I'm sure Joe, Joe Rogan didn't do it intentionally. Joe yeah. Rogan, I'm going to go get. Yeah, that's yeah. not how Joe's. We had dinner a couple he's nights ago. Yeah. He's, a, he's the most chillest. He's the guy you want as a friend, as a brother, as an uncle, as a cousin, mm -hmm. as a guy to be in business with. That's that guy, right? Yeah. But you have to think about long term, who are those guys that are going to be in your corner so, as you get bigger? So saint status, now I'm going to talk about Jordan Peterson. Sure. Because he's under attack by the Psychologist Board of, of Ontario in Canada. Yep. I'm sure you've heard of that. Is that because he doesn't have saint status? Is that because he doesn't have, he has big names backing him up. Like, like people will come out, you'll interview him, you'll talk about him. So why do you think he's... In that position as well. Is, is it a ca Canadian thing maybe? Listen, who <laughs> is? Who, so who, who's trying to cancel him? Canada. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, true. It's true. There's 30 million things, people. Yeah. There's, but it's not even Canada. It's the psychology of whatever. They it's want him to come out and take some educational Training courses. Training course on to social media. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And, and there's certain <laughs> things in life that you're like, who wants to cancel me? Totally fine with that. Yeah, I'm okay true. with that. So, no. There, there, there is... Certain community, the bigger you get, you cannot expect to have everybody like you because yes. then you have to act and you have to be fake. That's a very hard thing to do. And the audience is not going to, the audience can for sure tell when you're fake or you're acting. Yep. I told Joe, I said, Joe, everybody that I bring on the podcast that's never been on your podcast, first thing they ask me when the interview is done with, hey man, can you tell, you know, can you put in a good word in to, to, <laughs> to me and, you know, to Joe and just, you know. I'm like, bro, I said, Joe, I never bring it up to you. Yeah. I, I don't bring it up to you. And I tell him, I said, listen, you want to have a Beyond Joe's podcast? DM him. Yeah. If he likes it, they'll do that. And then Joe said, he said, look, I only interview people I want to interview. You know, guys will come in and they'll say through bookers, they'll say, hey, if you ever want to interview this guy, interview these three people hoping to one day get to this guy. Fine. That's, yeah. You want to play that card? No problem. We'll give you $100,000 if you have this person on your podcast to interview because we'll get these out. No. You can tell Joe's audience yeah. because Joe interviews who he wants to interview. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you love Joe. Yeah. So, so the brand cannot be watered down.